hello students welcome back to the video classes today we are going to study some practical problems on union and intersection of two sets in earlier class we have seen that the definition of disjoint sets if the intersection of two sets is an empty set then such a sets are called disjoint sets now before i solve the problems we are going to study some important formulas to solve the practical problems on union and intersection of two sets as we know that a and b are the two finite sets if a intersection b is equal to empty set then we have n of a intersection b is always equal to n of a plus n of b here n of a indicates number of elements in a given set a and n of b indicates the number of elements in the given set b the addition of these two sets are equal to the number of elements in a intersection b dear students here is a function in the first formula we should write n of a union b is always equal to n of a plus n of b instead of intersection this is the formula to write n of a union b is always equal to it is n of a plus n of b in general if a and b are two finite sets then n of a union b is always equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b in this case the intersection between the two sets is not empty that's why the n of a union b is always equal to n of a plus n of b minus n of a union b in previous formula we wrote this n of a union b is always equal to n of a plus n of b because the intersection of the two sets were empty or a and b were disjoint sets that's why the formula of n of a union b is always equal to n of a plus n of b if a b and c are the three finite sets then n of a union b union c is always equal to it can be given by n of a plus n of b plus n of c minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of c intersection a plus n of a intersection b intersection c now with the help of these formulas today we are going to solve the problems from the exercise 1.6 the first example if capital x and capital y are two sets such that the number of elements in the set x is 17 the number of elements in y are 23 and the number of elements in x union y is equal to 38 then we should find n of x intersection y in this problem given that n of x is 17 n of y is 23 n of x union y is equal to 38 we should find n of x intersection y we know that n of x union y is always equal to n of x plus n of y minus n of x intersection y we know we have been given that n of x union y is always equal to 38 which is equals to number of elements in the set x are 17 plus number of elements in the y are 23 minus n of x intersection y now we will bring n of x intersection y to the left hand side before that 38 as it is which is equal to 17 plus 23 is 40 minus n of x intersection y here the unknown term is number of elements in the two sets x and y that is n of x intersection y is equal to we brought this n of x intersection y to the left side it becomes a plus and 38 we brought it to the right hand side it becomes a minus 40 minus 38 is equal to therefore the number of elements in the intersection between the two sets is equal to 2 
dear students these are the questions will be expected in the examination for two marks similar example if x and y are two sets such that x union y has 18 elements the union between the x and y is 18 and number of elements in x union y is 18 x has 8 elements the, the n of x is equal to x y has 15 elements that is n of y is equal to 15 how many elements does x intersection y have means you have to find the number of elements in x intersection y now given that n of x union y is equal to 18 number of elements in the union between the two sets is 18 number of elements in the x is 8 number of elements in y are 15 then we should find n of x intersection y this is the formula same as in the previous problem we have done it as we know that n of x union y is equal to n of x plus n of y minus n of x intersection y therefore n of x union y is 18 is equal to n of x is 8 plus n of y is 15 minus n of x intersection y now by rearranging we brought this minus n of x intersection y to the left side 8 plus 15 is equal to 23 and 18 brought to the right side by simplification we get n of x intersection y is equal to 5 therefore the number of elements in the intersection between the two sets is 5 moving to the next question in a group of 400 people there are the peoples containing in a group are 400 number of elements in a group are or the number of peoples in a group are 400 in this 400 250 can speak hindi there are the peoples who speak hindi 250 and 100 can speak english and there are the peoples who speak english are 200 how many people can speak both hindi and english the students in this problem it is given that there are the peoples who speak both the languages Hindi English. Before I start the solution of this problem, let me start with let capital H and capital A denote the set of people speaking Hindi and English respectively. So the number of people who speak both the languages Hindi or English or both, the friend of H union e is equal to 200. The number of people who speak Hindi 250 are given in number of people who speak English are 200 then we should find the people who speak both the languages Hindi and English that is to be find again as we know that n of h union e is equal to n of h plus n of e minus n of h intersection e there are the 400 people who speak Hindi or English or both there are the people who speak in the 250 people who speak English 200 minus n of h intersection e by rearranging this equation we have this minus n of h intersection we bring it to the left hand side that gives equal to 250 plus 200 is 450 and 400 will bring it to the right side therefore 400 my 450 minus 400 that gives 50 therefore the people who speak both Hindi and English are 50 peoples. There are the 50 peoples who speak both Hindi and English. Dear students, as I told you, these are the questions are expected in the examination for 2 to 3 marks. Moving to the next question, question number 5 from the exercise 1.6. If capital X and capital Y are two sets such that X has 40 elements and the union between X and Y has 60 elements and X intersection Y has 10 elements. How many elements does y have you have to find the number of elements in the set y given that n of x is 40 n of x union y is 60 and n of x intersection y is 10 we should find that number of elements in the set y. again we know that n of x union y is equal to n of x plus n of y minus n of x intersection y number of elements in the set of two sets union between the two set is 60 number of elements in the set x is 40 we do not know how many elements are there in the set y the put n of y as it is minus number of elements in both the sets are 10 after simplification n of y as it is 60 to the left hand side as it is we bring the 40 to the left hand side it becomes minus 40 minus 10 becomes a plus 10 
the Fourier of y as it is 40 and 15 we brought it to the left hand side 60 minus 40 minus 10 we brought to the left side it becomes a plus 10 for the number of elements in a set y are 60 minus 40 is 20 20 plus 10 is 30 therefore there are the 30 elements in the set y moving to the next question question number six in a group of 70 peoples 30 like coffee 52 like tea and each person likes at least one of the two drinks how many people like both coffee and tea the students and means you have to take the intersection between the two sets coffee and tea let c denote the set of people who like coffee and t denote the set of people liking the tea respectively therefore the number of elements in the set liking the people who likes coffee or tea or both are 70 the people who like coffee are 37 the people who liked or like the drink tea are 52 we should find the people who are liking both coffee and tea again we know that n of c in mean t is equal to n of c plus n of t minus n of c intersection the number of people who like coffee or tea or both are 70 which is given in the question which is equals to the number of people who like coffee is 37 number of people who like tea are 52 minus the number of people who like both that is to be found by rearranging minus n of c intersection t we bring it to the left hand side it becomes plus of n c intersection t which is equals to 37 plus 52 is 89 and 70 will bring it to the right side minus 70 therefore n of c intersection t is equal to 19 therefore there are the 19 people who like coffee and tea these are the people who likes both coffee and tea dear students i hope you have understood these problems that is the practical problems on union and intersection and these are the questions which are expected in the examination for two to three marks I hope you have understood this class, today's class. The remaining problems we do in the next class. If you have any queries, please contact the given below number. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.